when you're out looking for pistols, whether it's your first pistol or just adding another one to your arsenal, first thing you're going to notice is that the prices range drastically from a few hundred dollars to a few thousand dollars. Now, if your budget doesn't permit you to spend upwards of $500, does that mean that you need to be defenseless or buy an inferior gun? Of course not. That's why we have the Kenick TP9 Elite SC. This, in my opinion, and I've evaluated a lot of pistols, this is the best quality pistol for under $400 money can buy. And this thing, let me tell you, it's a budget price without any compromise whatsoever. You're not sacrificing anything. The Canik PT9 Elite SC has got at least the same features as the big boys and then some. Let's check it out. So let's check out the Canik TP9 Elite SC. And let me tell you, you're going to be shocked with what you see in the box here. For, for under $400, you get a hell of a lot in this box. And we'll go through the accessories after a bit here. Okay. So we'll start off with the firearm. And the SC stands for subcompact, but it's really not a subcompact. In my opinion, the size of this is more like a compact pistol. And I think the reason they call it subcompact is because the grip is short when you're using a 12 round magazine. And the thing I like about it is that they put a magazine extension on it. So you don't get that floating finger thing you have a nice grip on it and to convert it from a subcompact to a compact you just insert the 15 round magazine and now it becomes a compact pistol and the finish on this is really nice it is a tungsten cerakote over nitride slide it's extremely comfortable they did a nice job on the uh, stipling here. I like this big cutout for your thumb on both sides. Another thing I really like on this is look at the size of the slide release lever. It's gigantic. And there's one on both sides. It is ambidextrous. And I like the fact that it's made to slam it closed. There's a lot of guns that have that little notch thing here when you press it. It doesn't slam the slide forward enough. It's got a really nice trigger. This is the premium Canik trigger. And you can see it's a safety trigger, just like the Glock, only one part of it is red here. And the trigger's really nice. It's got a pretty short take up, and then you hit the wall. Okay. And then it's got a nice release and a crisp trigger pull. It's got a match grade 3.6 inch barrel. It's got a accessory rail down here. And it feels very comfortable in the hand. Uh, the Canik is made in Turkey and they make very good quality guns. It's got a blacked out rear sight with a phosphorus white red dot. It's got a loaded chamber indicator here. And it's got an indicator back here letting you know that the uh, striker is engaged. And when you pull the trigger, now it goes away. I wouldn't rely on either of those. You should still always check and make sure your firearm is unloaded. And lastly... It's got uh, an optic-ready slide. All you do is remove these two screws and take the plate off and install your optic. And this is a lot of gun for the money, guys. And it's got a lifetime warranty. Now, let's go to the accessories. 
comes with a Kydex holster. And this is reversible, so it could be worn inside or outside the waistband. It's not the greatest holster in the world, but it works. And as soon as you take the gun home and take it out of the box, it's ready to carry. If you like the holster, that's fine. Um, and if you don't, uh, at least you still have a holster to carry your firearm until you find one that you do like. It's got the trigger lock. Comes with a little box with tools, screws, and washers for mounting an optic. It comes with a, a flat mag base plate in case you don't want the uh, bulky extension on it. But I would think you do because that floating pinky thing on the Glocks drive me insane. And I like that you get a nice uh, firm grip on the pistol this way. Also comes with an additional back strap, and you could just swap out that one. Comes with a optic mounting plate, depending on the optic you use. And I really like this cutout here for your thumb. It, it's really nice. I like that it's, it's very large like that, so you have a place to rest your thumb make it comfortable and I like that they have the index pad here on the side now we go to the other side here you get all the documentation in this envelope you get a cleaning brush and you get a cleaning rod so for under four hundred dollars you get everything you need besides your pistol you get everything you need to clean it to service it to carry it um, I've reviewed a lot of pistols, uh, especially at the low end price range. And this Canik is fantastic quality. I mean, if you look at it, it looks very similar to the Walther. And I would have no qualms about carrying this as an everyday pistol. So just because you have a limited budget doesn't mean that you should be defenseless or carry an inferior firearm. This is just really great quality, and it's got a lifetime warranty. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like our videos, share them with your friends. Thanks for watching.